Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gary Benton and today here on this exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! video we are here with Combo Cody who decided he's going to join the Clan of the Weebs and play Dragon Maids and he got third place last week at our locals so yeah, here's Combo Cody explaining his deck Alright The overly priced bad deck Very bad deck uh, So first you gotta play three kitchens it's the searcher, so you, when it's normal special summon, you get to add a dragon made monster from your hand and then discard a dragon made monster, which is actually really good. And then three parlor. Uh, when it's normal special, you can send a dragon made card from your deck to graveyard. And then both the level threes, kitchen and parlor, uh, during the start of the battle phase, you can tag them out for one of the level eights from your hand or graveyard. Then for level twos, I played two nurses. I only played two because I only had two. If you had three, would you play a third? Uh, I don't know. Like sometimes I wanted the third, but you can kind of nurse is really good because it specials them from the graveyard when it's normal special summoned, and then it tags itself out for one of the level sevens. Uh, so sometimes like late game, I wish I had a third, but it wasn't really necessary. And then one laundry because it's like the worst one. Okay. When it's normal special summon, you mill the top three cards of your deck. Which is not great. And then for the big dragons, played three Urnus. Uh, probably one of the best ones. You quick effect can discard it to special summon a level four lower dragon made from your hand. Which is pretty good. It helps you kind of build a board. And then it's just a level seven. And it you can tag it out for a level two from your hand. Okay. And then all the big ones have the effect that if you, uh, that they cannot be destroyed by card effects while, I ha while you have a fusion monster. Not the fusion monster, just a fusion monster, so any fusion monster. Then I played two low par. Uh, you can non quick effect, which really sucks. You can discard and target one card in the field. That card, that monster cannot activate its effects this turn. Uh, really wish it was quick effect. That'd be great. <laughs> and built effect failure. Yeah. And then I played two Tinkek. Uh, he's like the honest. You can discard him, uh, quick effect, and your Dragon Maid monster gains 2,000 attack. Okay. Which is pretty good, especially when you're pushing for game or when someone thinks that they can attack over your little maid. And, I mean, usually you should just be tagging your little maids out, but if you have, like, a level 2 on the field and you can't tag it out for one of the level 8s, that's kind of, like, your best bet. And then one Null Jar. Uh, it can shuffle a monster. You can discard it to shuffle a monster. Or is it monster or card? Target one monster your opponent's graveyard and shuffle it back into their deck. Once again, would actually be pretty good if it was a quick effect. But it's not. Because this would be pretty good against things like Salad and Orcist. Konami doesn't want to make any more tier 1 decks. They want to leave us with Orcus and yeah, Sky this, Strikers. This, this wouldn't be a tier 1 deck even if these were quick effects. <laughs> which is why they should just have been quick effects. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad they do have discard effects because it helps them get them out of your hand. Yeah. And then I was playing Go Second. So I played two Panker Tops because Panker Tops. Uh, this actually won me so many games because people don't know what to do with Panker Tops on Panker the field. Tops beat down. <laughs> and then one Tempest. It's only a super air, Cody. What What is wrong with you? Uh, I didn't get my secret out. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, uh, Tempest is actually really good in this deck because Lopar and Parlor are both wins, so you can discard them to search for any dragon in the deck, which is broken, or you can just use it as a field extender. And then for hand traps, I played three imperm, just because it's, it's good. good. It's imperm. It's good. Yeah, I, I basically played the two best hand traps, imperm. We, we and left Ash. budget a while ago. <laughs> yeah. And Ash, yeah, there's nothing budget about this deck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad deck, but there's nothing budget about yeah. it. Ash, self-explanatory, really good. And then on the spells, I played two hospitality, because uh, I didn't have a third. I wouldn't know if you need a third. So it's basically uh, you can special one dragon made monster from your hand or graveyard and then send one from your deck to graveyard. Is that is the same attribute. Okay. 
So it helps, number one, build the field, number two, set up your graveyard. Then I played one welcome. Uh, if you could search it more, I might play it at two, or if it was just less situational. All your monsters gain 100 attack and defense for each dragon made on the field. And then if you control two or more dragon maids, you can target one dragon made card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And then the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, uh, your monsters cannot be targeted by effects. Is that a field spell or continuous? It is a continuous. Just very okay. shiny. Yeah. Uh, I kind of wish it was a field spell. That would actually be a little better. And then one changeover. Uh, it's the fusion card. And what's really good about changeover is if it's in the graveyard, you can target one of your dragon maids, return it to hand, and then add it back to your hand. And it does use dragon maids, uh, does use fusion materials from your hand or field. Once again, I think it should have been like Quick fusion point. of fire, yeah. where you could use your opponent's monsters, because that would make it way better. But it doesn't. Like we said, Konami's not not in the game of building tier one decks. No, yeah, no. <laughs> then especially not budget. Extravagance. <laughs> Three extravagance. Uh, I mean, you kind of have to like 100%. Desires is too risky because you are like, if you banish all your big dragons and all or all your little ones, you lose. Yeah. Like 100%. The extra deck is not as important. Like it helps, but it's not that needed. And then to contradict that, three super polys. <laughs> now, now with the extravagance for budget players, would you think that if they can't afford extravagance, just play some more level eights and play trade in, or? Uh, so I have seen some people do that. Uh, for the most part, you could take your risk with desires if you really wanted to. But I mean, extravagance is. Yeah, much, I don't, I don't much really better. think of any uh, any other draw cards that'd be useful. Uh, Dark World Dealings isn't bad. Yeah, it does give your opponent, but it your opponent card, but it can help you set up your graveyard like you want, or one day of peace because this deck is actually very slow. It's very grindy. Yeah. So one day of peace actually isn't that bad. Uh, upstart. Kind of, kind of your typical things, and then I played three Call by the Graves. Uh, didn't really use this in hand traps at all. I used it a lot to disrupt my opponent. Uh. Round two, I played against Dragon Link, and Called by the Grave came in clutch, banishing all the stuff they wanted <laughs> out of their graveyard. And then two old Legacy Guard Dragon, uh, just because it's a monster born for the dragons. You're playing the dragon deck. Yeah. Also, it helps you uh, move your house maid out from the extra main monster zone in case you're playing like Cyber Dragons or something. This protects against that. And then I played one return of the Dragon Lords. Uh, never actually saw it the entire night. I thought it would be kind of cool because you got know, big dragons, and then it actually gives some protection, but never saw it. Now, would you think Monster Reborn over the return of the Dragon Lords because it's actually use it's more useful? Or, uh, you, or were you playing it for just for that protection? I was playing it just for the protection. And then one downtime. Downtime's like. A really good card if it was a spell card. <laughs> but seeing as it's a trap, it's not that great. So you can return one of your Dragon Maids to activate one of the effects. Uh, either you can add a Dragon Maid card from your deck to hand, or you can send one of your opponent's uh, spell or trap cards back to their hand. Uh, usually you're just using it to get advantage in your hand for next turn. But one, because it's good, not more than one, because it's bad, plus for trying to go second. And then... Play three house dragon maid, because we are playing extravagance. It's very likely that you'll still have one. And it is actually pretty good. Uh, doing a standby, every standby phase, you can target one of your dragon maids. And then special one from the graveyard that's a level higher or a level lower. Uh, and if a dragon is returned, just a dragon, so Tempest will trigger this too, uh, is returned to your hand, you can destroy one monster. Which, once again, it should say card, yeah. not monster. But we're not building tier one decks. No. 
and it still wouldn't be tier one if they had made it this because it's but there is times like so you can with the little ones you can go one return it and then made pop and then another one return it so you don't have to chain your little ones and then two seals uh, I'd play three if I had three just because of extravagance. Uh, it's amazing how many people can't play around seals. <laughs> yeah. So seals is just really good interruption, and it helps you set up for your next turn because you can special dragon maid, and you usually special nurse, and then nurse effect will give you kitchen, and then kitchen lets you search, or you get parlor. And Now because you are playing extravagance, and I know the rest of your extra deck, would the 15th card be a third... Be a third heavenly oh, spheres. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> and then just some like generic cards like IP, Phoenix, uh, Unicorn, uh, Boar Sword, of course. Yep. Best and, Dragon. And then Super Poly Targets, uh, Two Starring Venom, Chimera, because we do have a Cyber Dragon player that comes, uh, Necro Dragon, because we do have a Zombie player that comes to locals, and Mud Dragon. Uh, just because they're all different types. So, I mean, you're pretty much always good. And then... Uh, 15th one, card. 15th my, card. My legendary 6 Samurai Sheen because he didn't have a 15th card in his extra deck. So, yeah, that would definitely be the third Heavenly Spheres. Definitely. <laughs> all right. Well, Cody, thank you very much for this amazing deck profile. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and leave some Cody some love or hate in the comment section. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.